All right, so this little challenge here is making this corner look like there was never a door there. So that's the edge of the door frame. And here's the filler panel. Uh, let me put it here. There's the filler panel I made up. Or I'm in the process of making up to uh, to go in there and uh, and bridge that. I'll go under the uh, windshield frame here, and then just get re-riveted, and then I'll rivet along this edge here, and uh, and then I can uh, worry about putting the window frame in later. And I'm trying to let make it look like. Like this, which is the driver's side. Uh, because it's a door frame, it's uh, two inches wider here. This is two inch. It's two and a half on the other side. That's the best I can do. So I don't think anybody will notice. You have to have a wide head to see both sides at the same time anyway. So should be good. All right, so put that piece all in there now. And I only rivet it up part way. And I want to, that'll allow the window frame to uh, move out a little bit. Enough for me to slide the, uh, the aluminum skin under it when I, when I do this piece here. So, uh, in fact, I might have, might have riveted it up just a little too far. I might have to knock one of those out. But we'll see. We'll try and get it in there first. You know, slowly uh, the door is slowly disappearing. I'll uh, start working on the aluminum tomorrow night, I believe. Well, hello everybody. Hope your Saturday is going okay. Though by the time you see this, it won't be Saturday anymore, but you get the idea. You know what I mean. Um, I, uh, as the last little segment here, I had shown you I got this piece installed now. So my next job today is to fill this aluminum panel in here. So I'm hoping to get that finished today. <coughs> As the temperature is dropping, the, uh, <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to get motivated to get out here. So I'm getting out to get started eh, around noon. So anyways, better than last year. It was too cold to even be out here. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can continue on here. Uh, I want to show you all the moldings that I had made. So these are, I picked these up on, th on uh, Thursday. This uh, here, well it's actually going to go, uh, of course it's all stuck together. Anyways, that's going to go on the, uh, around the outer skin, well the inner, the inner framework as well, so the seal is going to go up against this surface here. Um, in and out, so whether the slide out's in or out, the seal will be running on this surface. Um, this one here is for stinking mics getting all hung up. Hang on, should have got a wireless one, anyways. This, uh Molding here will go around the window frames and I'll have to use the shrinker to shrink the uh, material around the curves on those windows. And then this one here, this Z-shaped one, uh, this is the one that the seal's going to sit on. So it'll sit on this surface here. 
This will run out on that two inch square tubing that I have for the framework. And then this lip here will be uh, on the cover the edge of the outside skin. So hope that all makes sense. Anyways, you'll, as I install it, it'll, uh, it'll hopefully make sense. And also, I need to qualify what I said previously about these electric wipers being a bolt-in conversion. Um, they do bolt right into place, but, and in my, my case, that's basically what it'll be, is a bolt-in job. However, somebody's going to put this into their own uh, bus. They will still bolt in, but the original defroster ducting from the original heater is in the way. So in my case, I'm pulling that all out and putting uh, new uh, street rod type uh, heaters up front, so it's not an issue. Um, but uh, you know, if somebody's got a one of these buses and and uh, want to just bolt it in, while it'll physically bolt in, there are other modifications that'll have to be made to make it actually work. Um, and also the arms where they protrude here are not in exactly the same place as the original ones. So they're over about an inch. So which means that the original uh, stainless trim that was on here won't bolt back on either. They're, uh, you know, the holes here where these arms protrude are not in the right place then. In my case, doesn't matter. I'm gonna make up new uh, aluminum um, aluminum trim or, or moldings for it so you know I just put the holes where I want them however if somebody's you know if they want to do this and and uh, want to just bolt their original trim back on well that's not going to work so while it is you know they physically bolt into place it's not you know that's not the whole thing it's still a conversion and there's you know there's more things to be taken into consideration you know when doing this so I hope I didn't want to mislead anybody into thinking that they just bolt into place and you know that's all there is to it but but um, you know it is possible to do but it's a little more complicated than just bolting the things into place so anyways so I'm going to uh, continue on here with that today and I'll uh, with the, the side there and I'll document that as I go I got this mostly fit here now have to cut where that black line is there. I gotta go and trim that, pull it down to do that. And uh, other than that, it's pretty much fit. So far, so good. All right, well, all up into place there now. I have to drill it. And I can take it down. I gotta get more seam sealer anyway. Seems I'm not like I'm always running out of seam sealer. And I've been informed that we're going to my brother's for dinner tonight. So I guess that's as far as I'm going today. Well, it's pretty nice. All read it up there, you won't even be able to tell that uh, there was ever a door there. Let me get the window and everything in. Short day today, I guess. Carry on tomorrow. Alright, well. The panel's all riveted down now. As much as I can, anyways. Um, Along the top edge of that window, like the other side, I'm going to have to have some, I was able to get some of the long rivets in, but I'm going to have to get some shorter ones, so I'll just get some 3 8 uh, reach rivets and uh, do that on both sides. But it's all uh, riveted out. I kind of screwed up. I mean, it'll be fine because this thing is going to be, going to look similar to an MC7, you know, the, the trim and everything, but not exactly the same. So anyways, what I ended up doing here is I kind of goofed here. This 
my stainless should have come to here, up to there, and across, and then the aluminum could have ended there with some, you know, and, and been overlapped. That's the way it's supposed to be. And I screwed that up. I got, you know, the, the, the stainless only goes to here, so I needed to overlap it down to here. It's going to be similar to, you know, like I say, similar to a MC7, but not exactly the same, so I'll end up having to put a molding. There, there is a molding that's like almost three inches wide that comes down, down here. Uh, but it ends, where the heck does it end? It ends right here. Or no, here. Kind of goes like that. Anyways, I won't be able to, well I can, yeah I can do that. I just have to knock these rivets out here, put countersunk ones in there, and just run them another molding into it here, coming all the way down here, like that. And then the stainless comes onto the slide out here, same angle as the window up there, and comes down to a point in there. And that's the way a, an original MC7 Stainless wood, what it was, and I'm going to try and reproduce that as close as I can. Um, anyways, so, but that's, you know, it'll be close, but it's not going to be exactly the same. Not that it really matters. Anyways, that fit for pretty nice. Now I can start working on the cap up there. I um, don't know if I'll do that or the slide out first. I haven't decided. Uh, but uh, the, the cap, when I, when I do bring the cap down, um, I'll end up putting a ratchet strap over the top, right from one side to the other, and uh, suck that down with a ratchet strap, and then uh, and then just start riveting from the middle out. I don't know, I might, uh, haven't decided yet, I might do this, this slide out first, I probably will, but anyways, it's on one of the, <laughs> one of my to-do lists. Getting that 80,000 aluminum under that, that uh, windshield edge there was, uh, let's just say it was a pain in the ass. But it's, it went in, but <laughs> it wasn't any fun. Anyhow, we'll call that it for, for this, and then uh, continue on next weekend, I guess, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll do something during the week. Getting cold fairly early now, so it's hard to work up the ambition to come out here after working all day. But uh, we'll see how it goes.